Hello everyone, welcome to Production. So today I brought an electric scooter. Uh, it's by Se Segway, it's called Nine Bot Max. I, and I've been owning this about 10, 12 days, uh, something like that. And I've been riding about 600 kilometers. I've been riding pretty much every single day uh, for the last 10 days. So I think I can finally give you general idea of how this actually feels like. I, I didn't want it to just like open the boxes and ride for a couple of hours and then give you a review. So that's why it took me forever to make this video. Mainly because I had to test a lot of stuff with this vehicle. So let's take a look at the dashboard first. On the side, there's a rubber hand grip. This is more like a silicone type of uh, rubber. So I think it's gonna last much longer than the traditional black uh, bike rubbers or anything like that. And on the left side, there's a bell. This is actually a bell. I, I think this is like one of the unique feature of this uh, scooter that they try to hide where the bell is. It doesn't stick out. So like seamlessly, it like, goes, goes together. So try to use it is like if you spin it, it actually rings. So I think that's really brilliant. And there's a brake. It's kind of squishy kind of uh, brake, uh, but there's a reason for it. I'm gonna explain it later. And this is full mount. It doesn't come with the scooter, but it's optional. And there's a dashboard. Uh, you can see the, uh, the speed that you're going. And then this is mode, uh, how you change the mode. It's right now it's a sports mode that goes up to 30 kilometers per hour. That's eco mode and that's a drive. Uh, and that's again, if you double click one more time, it goes to the sports. Uh, to turn on and off the light, you just press one more one time and then there's uh, the light indicator comes on and then light comes on too. Um, and then at the bottom, that's the battery indicator. Uh, there's a five bars. Uh, it represents 20% of the batteries. And uh, on the right side, so this is the clip for uh, when you're trying to fold it, it clips to the back of the fender. Uh, and this is a throttle, thumb throttle. Uh, there's a little caveat on this. Uh, I don't quite like how I, uh, I don't quite like how you have to engage the what's called the cruise control. Uh, it's kind of difficult to keep keep it down where this screw doesn't have a suspension. That's one problem I noticed. But there's that, um, and that's about that's about the dashboard. So it's super simple uh, electric skateboard. Not, did I say electric skateboard? He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> so here's an acceleration test for sports mode, drive mode, and eco mode. Let's take a look at the sports mode first. So here you can see the uh, latch system. Uh, you, can, you have to unlock it first, and then you have to unfold, like fold it this way, and then you can latch it at the back of this uh, fender, as I told you. And then if you don't, you can actually kind of lift it, but it's not really easy because this is over 20 kilograms, so it's pretty heavy. Okay, let's go with the tire. Tire is 10 inch tire, uh, it's a uh, tubeless air filled tire. So tubeless means it doesn't have an air, air tube inside which 
makes this um, scooter ride very hard and bumpy but at the same time it feels really, really sporty and then it, ha it feels like you have a lot of torque in the, in the machine and if you see the frame on, on the side there's a leg you can just kick it like this to stand the vehicle at the back of it that's the motor um, that it goes up to 700 watt and normally it goes about 300 to 350 watt uh, motor uh, so far so good it's very torquey and I really like this rubber pad uh, I think it's a brilliant idea um, it's anti-slip um, but it's not abrasive like uh, grip tape from a skateboard it doesn't get dirty it's color gray it's not noticeable at all when it get dirty um, so yeah let's go from the other side the other side there's a drum brake the interesting thing about this uh, scooter is that you don't need a charging brake you just need to plug uh, like electric outlet outlet line uh, this one is optional your fast charge 5 amp hour charge charger uh, I do recommend getting one of these because it takes six hours to charge this this scooter takes way too long uh, you, I do need a uh, fast charge. I, I ordered it when once I receive it I'll show you guys so there's not much to this scooter. Uh, it's a very simple uh, commuter uh, scooter, electric scooter. Um, but the good thing about this scooter is because it is so simple, uh, it's really built like a tank. I've been riding this on really bad um, road pavement. There, where is a pothole is constantly come and go. I like my knees was getting hurt because this doesn't have any suspension. But still, this one doesn't uh, even make any clunky sound. I went to the uh, mud, uh, went through the off-road. Uh, it's still working fine and there's no visible wear and tear. So uh, now I know, like I've been using this for a long time and I know how to ride it properly. And I feel comfort and ease with it. So I decided to call my camera person, Jeffrey. Uh, he's gonna try on and help me watch it think about it. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna give her a shot. Give her a shot. Nice. How was it? I liked it. It was uh, a little more power than I actually expected it. Right? It's so torquey, right? I, once I touched the throttle, it was like I could feel that pushback a bit right yeah. away. Yeah. It took me a second to really figure out the balance of it, but it was really easy to pick up on, to be honest. Um, I, I think it's pretty user friendly. It's just more about getting familiar with the feeling of it at yeah. that point. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a very simple, right? Yeah, it is very simple. Um, and the same thing you mentioned to me about the brake system, doing it the halfway definitely felt like a good slow start to it. And then coming to the stop in front of the camera here is when I actually did the disc brake. And that, that felt really comfortable leading into it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, no, this thing's great. Damn, they move fast too. Like I in that corner there, I tried to like push it a little bit, and I was yeah. like, "Wow, I can feel this." Yeah, right? so it's, like, it's it goes up to thirty. Uh, do you think it should be faster, or like it's about right? I, I think for what it is, this is 
fantastic. Like I wouldn't be pushing it at its full acceleration all the time. Yeah. It's full top speed. Yeah. Um, I no, it's great, man. This, this is fantastic. How much do you think this is? How much? If I was to guess, yeah. Two grand? No. No, it's significant. Is it significantly less? Half of that. Half of that a grand? Really? How much range do you think this is gonna go? How much what? Range. Range? How much kilometers? Kilometers. Sixty. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Oh, that was a pretty good guess, actually. That's not bad though, and uh, I guess that depends uh, kilometers versus battery life too, right? How yeah. How far? How far do you really yeah, take yeah. it and push it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so now we are in the high park. Unless you already noticed it. So there's a lot of hills around here, so I'm gonna take this one and then test out the hill climbing test. Let's see how much torque this thing actually has. I mean, it only says 700 watt hours, but it feels like it's more than 700 watt sometimes. All right, let's go. So uh, I found another hill. This is uh, same t about 20 degree hills, but this time it's like really long. So it's about like 100 meters from that bottom to here. Uh, I'm gonna try from here to all the way to the top, see if it can actually carry me all like all the way through. All right, let's go. Ooh, it's going. So, uh, 9 volt max from Segway, I think this is uh, the scooter to get right now. Uh, it's, it's great price, great, great range, super simple, built like a tank, you can go off-road, on-road, 20 degree hills, no problem. It's going, it was going like 24 kilometers an hour, 25 kilometers an hour, so I think that it's really great. Uh, for example, the previous version of this one, SE, ES version, ES4. Those can go up this hill, but they'll probably go very slow. Uh, I probably won't be able to go from bottom to top like this one. So that's been it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you wanna looking for electric scooter or electric portable uh, vehicle in general, get this one. And see you later. Bye.